Hello everybody and welcome to our Vesper Prayer today. I'm happy to see all of you here with us today. Uh, there's five of us and today is Saturday. It's a day where we uh, pay homage to um, the Divine Feminine. Uh, Catholic Christians pay homage to the Divine Feminine in uh, the person of the uh, Blessed Virgin Mary, who was the birth mother of uh, Jesus Christ. In the background we have the monks of Norcia, the Benedictine monks in Norcia, Italy, where uh, Benedict started his order and they are singing Marian prayers, or prayers that are specifically devoted to Mary for today. So I hope you're doing well today. Here it's a, a rather cold day. It's in the 60s. Uh, it's supposed to go down to the 50s tomorrow. For us, that's cold at this time of year. And uh, we have some rain. It's a rainy day here, and I hope it is nice wherever you are. And if it is rainy or whatever it is, sunny, I hope you're filled with joy and the gladness of the Spirit. So let us begin. We have our candle lit for peace. I had a couple votive candles that were given to me, so I'm making good use of them like a good Franciscan would. And um, before I begin, uh, I invite you all to light your candles. I'll give you a minute to do that while I chatter on. And also, um, wish everybody over in the UK uh, a happy Guy Fox Day. I think it was yesterday, but Brother Sean is continuing to um, continuing, I think, to celebrate. He's saying that in a village not far from him or next to him, they're having fireworks again today. So um, I don't know if it applies to Scotland also, Guy Fox Day and Wales. I don't know if it applies to Ireland, probably not, um, but at any rate, happy, happy day to all of you. So we have our prayer for peace now. May the, I'm sorry, I got the wrong one. <laughs> oh God of peace, healing, and justice, we pray for all of those whose lives have been marred by the events of violence and disruption. Many are the losses that have been experienced. May those who mourn be comforted. May those who in the months ahead work to rebuild community and be empowered by the Spirit for peace. We make this prayer through the Cosmic Christ who came to heal the wounds both of sin and division. Amen. So now our opening uh, prayer and our opening um, poem for the day. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help all of us. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So my poem, I mean my feeling for the day is that we should have a sense of worship and a sense of God's glory in our lives and that this may be reflected in our prayer time that we take time to give adoration to God and thanksgiving it's so very important to just thank God for the little things in your life I mean taking a breath is a little thing and a big thing at the same time but we should be thankful to God for that for there are many who cannot do that on their own. We should thank God for the fact that we can turn our heads and we can raise our arms and we can do various things like that because there are many who cannot do that. We're thankful for being able to eat and drink because there are many who cannot do that. And it goes on and on for the gift of sight, for the gift of hearing, for the gift of smell, for the gift of touch, all of these things that just pertain to us, let alone all of the beautiful things surrounding us, both in sight and smell, sound and smell and touch, the feeling of our little pets, their fur, the smell of freshly baked bread, the sight of a glorious sunset or sunrise, the beauty of the trees this time of year. 
Let us thank God for all of this. And our poem is, At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him king of glory now. Tis the Father's mother's pleasure that we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty word. Humbled for a season to receive a name from the lips of sinners unto whom he came, faithfully he bore it, spotless to the last, brought it back victorious when from death he passed bore it up triumphant with its human light through all ranks of creatures to the central height to the throne of Godhead to the Father's breast filled it with glory of that perfect rest and this was written in 1870 by Carolyn Noel and now we have Psalm 122 which we pray for the holy city of Jerusalem and let us pray for Israel and for the Middle East in general, for all of the countries in the Middle East. Through this psalm, pray for the peace of Jerusalem as the Antiphon. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment at the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends I say peace upon you. For the love of the house of the Lord I will ask for all of your good. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When you rose from the dead, Lord Jesus, you formed the church into your new body. You formed all of us into your new body and made of all of us here the new Jerusalem united in your spirit give us peace in our day make all nations come together to share your gifts in fellowship and may we all render you thanks without end and come at some point to your eternal city and we pray the antiphon again pray for the peace of Jerusalem and now Psalm 130 is a psalm that prays about a cry from the depths, a cry from the very depths of our souls. It's a cry for justice, it's a cry for peace, it's a cry for our individual need, and a cry for God's blessing. The antiphon is, from the morning until night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. And that's what we all need to do is to wait trustingly on the Lord. He will come in his own time. Just know that, that he will come in his own time. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, and for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, and I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel, all of us, on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy, and there is the fullness of redemption. All of us to be redeemed. Maybe we don't feel like we need redemption, but we do need redemption because we're not all in a state of perfection as of yet. We do things to each other, we do things to ourselves that are not necessarily of the best nature, and so in that we need redemption. We need redemption from our frailties and we need forgiveness 
for those things that we do to ourselves and others, or even those things that we think. Because the things that we think in our minds go into our very depths of our being and are manifested as action. Israel indeed he will redeem, all of us he will redeem from all our iniquity, from all of our imperfections, from all of the things that we do that are not good, that are not the best good for us, for not following the perfect will of our Holy Father, Mother God, which is perfect for us. <laughs> Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Listen with compassion to our prayers, Lord. The forgiveness of sins is yours. Do not look on the wrong that we have done, but grant us your merciful kindness. From the morning watch until night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. Now our canticle from Philippians. <laughs> the antiphon, let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. This is speaking of Christ, God's holy servant. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth. And every tongue proclaim to the glory of God, our Father and Mother, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Now we have a reading from Second Peter. Just to listen and see if there's anything that the Spirit may talk to you about through this reading. We possess the prophetic message as something altogether reliable. Keep your attention closely fixed on it as you would on a lamp shining in a dark place until the first streaks of dawn appear and the morning star rises in your hearts. The morning star rises in your hearts. What a beautiful image that is. That that first glimpse of light rises in all of our hearts that the light of our Father, Mother, God rises in our hearts. First, you must understand this, that there is no prophecy contained in Scripture, which is a personal revelation. Prophecy has never been put forward or has occurred by man's willing it. It is rather that men and women, impelled by the Holy Spirit, have spoken under the influence of God. May the Holy Spirit come May the Holy Spirit is in your hearts, I know that, I shouldn't put it that way, but may you come to the awareness that the Holy Spirit lives within you and speaks to you every day. It's your own personal revelation, your own personal prophecy. The Holy Spirit will speak in your heart if you make time to listen. So many of us need time to listen, so many of us have to make that time to listen and have that art of listening to the Spirit, to God's voice within you, and also to each other. Our responses from the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens, may the name of the Lord be praised. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The 
Canticle of Mary. I'm going to play a Marian hymn right now, but I want to say the antiphon. At midnight a cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom comes. Go out to meet him. Just one moment. Mother dear, oh pray for me. little tribute to our dear uh, mother and um, the divine feminine and now we're going to repeat the antiphon and the antiphon is at midnight a cry was heard 
Behold, the bridegroom comes, go out to meet him. Now the sound of the bell, I can hear them faintly in the background. We are going to pray our intercessions. We all come together now, one with each other, to pray for each other's intentions in a spirit of love and unity. Everyone who waits for the Lord finds joy. Now we pray to him, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. We hold all here with Brother Sean who are struggling in their beliefs tonight. Also remember the homeless and those who exploit them. And we pray for all of those people also, dear Sean, that actually help the homeless. So we pray for all of those who work with them and help them. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. With Brother Sean, we hold all of God's children, especially those who are suffering in mind, body, and spirit. And we pray, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. Faithful witness, firstborn of the dead, you washed away our sins in your blood. Make us always remember your wonderful works. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. You called men and women to be heralds of good news. Make us all strong and faithful messengers of your kingdom. And we pray, Lord, look on us with favor and hear us. We hold with Brother Sean all of God's children, especially those who are suffering in mind, body, and spirit. And we pray, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. King of peace, send your spirit on the leaders of the world. Turn their eyes to the poor and the suffering. And we pray, look with favor on us, Lord, and hear us. We hold all of the English and Russian tourists stranded at Sharm el Sheikh, Sheikh Airport in Sinai, Egypt. There's 19,000 and 40,000. What a number of people, my gosh. So we pray for all those people and for the people that have died in the Russian plain and all of their families. And we say, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. We pray for all of those people throughout the world that have undergone any type of disaster. And we say, look on all of us, Lord, with favor, and hear us. We hold all that are traveling today or tonight that they may be safeguarded from any type of terror or any type of harm. And we pray, look with favor, Lord, and hear us. We pray for Nina, who is still uh, battling cancer, and we pray that she is assisted by our Lord, our Father, Mother God, to win over the battle of cancer and not to have any ill side effects from the chemotherapy. We also pray for Kathy, who has cancer, for the same, that she will be healed totally in mind, body, and spirit. We pray for Hope's uh, friend's little child who has leukemia. May that be lifted and taken away. We pray for Nancy Ann, who has a, a knee problem, got her knee done, or operated one. We pray that she receives total healing. We pray for Sandy, who has back surgery, and we pray that the back surgery goes well. We also pray for her husband, Jim, that he is able to deal with everything and is given strength. We pray for Katya Duick, who continues to improve. We thank God for her recovery. We also hold <clears throat> with Brother Sean all of those who inflict injury and misery in God's, to God's children around the world. And we pray, Lord, that this stops and this ends, and that people are influenced by the Spirit, and they walk in the ways of the Spirit, and not in the ways of evil. And we say, Lord, look on us with favor and hear us. King of Peace, send your protection and defend all of us who are discriminated against because of race, color, class, sexual orientation, language, or religion. May we all be accorded the rights and dignity which are ours inherent as children of God. But we pray, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us.
We pray for all of our Franciscan brothers and sisters of different faiths to make 2016 a special year for Francis and Claire for unity and peace on Doves for Peace. And we pray that you extend your blessing hand on this new endeavor. And we pray with Brother Sean and with you, dear Lord, and we say, look on us with favor and hear us. We hold all of our beloved pets and those who are abandoned, that they may be found and collected and loved back to health. In Francis and Claire, we pray this as well, and we say, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. We pray for our founder, Brother Sean and Brother Rob, that they may be filled with God's grace and spirit and have a place of peace and comfort in their monastery at Storth. May it be a beacon of light for all. We pray, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. We pray for our Earth Mother Gaia, that you sustain her and make her into what you see, dear Lord, as the picture that she should be, that you, what is in your mind, Zai, however you would put that, in the mind of God, that it becomes, that our Earth Mother Gaia becomes, and she sustains all of us. We pray for all life forms that are here on this earth. And we say, look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. We pray for each and every person that is here today, that you may grant them extreme favor, Lord, in their lives, not only to them, but to all that they touch and all those people that they're connected to. And we say, Lord, look on us with favor and, and hear us. And now you can continue to write on the chat board, but I'd like to have a period of silence where you can just talk and listen to your Father, Mother, God in your hearts. We praise and thank you, for God, for all that you do and all that you have done. And we continue to ask that you look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. And now just realize what you're about to do, that you're about to enter into with each other an ex extremely sacred space as you pray the Our Father, Mother God, and all of the things that you're all your intentions and your prayers that are in your heart have now been totally commended to our Father, Mother God through the Divine Feminine, through the hands of the Blessed Virgin Mary, if you like or the hands of Kuan Yin or whoever else may be deity to you. So now let us together pray this, our Father, Mother God, with this thought in mind that we are entering into the most sacred of space. Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and yours is the glory and yours is the power, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us from all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. We ask this through our Lord, who is the cosmic Christ, and who is your Son, and who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, may the Lord protect us from every evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And now for a final blessing. May the song which sings within each and every one of us 
sing for eternity, and sing loudly. May we all heed the songs of heaven and dismiss the songs of earth. May the Father, Mother, God quiet the voices around you which tell you to settle for less than what he promises. And a quote from Thessalonians, always be joyful, pray continually, and give thanks whatever happens. This is what God wants for you. Joy and happiness. Amen. So thank you for being here with us. And we hope that you can be with us again. And just hope that you have joy in your lives. You have a restful night and a wonderful tomorrow. So namaste.